lovely to see you again. What an incredible year it's been. I think we were here for the P1 last year. Yeah. Within six months of Geneva, all 375 units of the P1 were sold out. It's been an incredible year. Ron's been telling us a little bit about what's happening. We're in a very new chapter. The story's moving forward. And that's thanks to this car, the 650S. T tell us a little bit about it. I think what the 650S represents is it's everything we've learned. We've sold three and a half thousand 12 seats. We've listened to our customers, we've listened to the market, we've developed P1. We've taken everything we've learned during those three years and we've evolved the 12 seats to 650S. So this is really the accumulation of the knowledge that we've put together and the technology we've developed. It is very much an evolution. This supplements a stunning range. It's not to replace anything. No, this comes in in a, in a senior position to the 12C. It is an evolution. It's about 25% of the parts on the car and you. Um, but it takes that vehicle line forward. So it, it improves on power, it improves on handling, it improves on refinement and on luxury. And it, it really becomes the, the complete package, both as a driver's tool, but as a beautiful car. Too. And it always in the current style, I imagine, influenced spiritually uh, by this stunning Formula One car hiding just behind it. Well, this, this is our indulgence. Um, because we're a company with 50 years of motorsport heritage, probably the most successful motorsport company there's, there's ever been. Um, we would like to have had the M7A that Bruce run his first ever Formula 1 in. Sadly, that car doesn't exist. This is an M7C. And perhaps it develops the same thing. As you can see with the quite aggressive wings on it, it was an evolution of the M7A in, in the same way that we're evolving our cars all the time now in the 650S. is everything we know in a road car at this point. And you can see a, a lot of design influences in this car, and I see a lot of the, a lot of the P1. Yeah, I think I mean, what will strike people immediately is the frontal styling of the car. And certainly it brings a, a family look with P1, with 650S, and will reflect in future products. But in some ways, more importantly, and I know something wrong with support, it's actually the function as much as the form. The, the front end of this car generates 25% more downforce. That's improved the steering, improved the suspension, and improved the chassis dynamics. And that's that's learning we got from all the work that was done on the P1 we're able to carry forward into, into this thing. <laughs> so this is the 650S Coupe, but what have we come here to see today? Okay, well we've shown everyone the Coupe. The Spider that we reveal now, we've been able to launch the 650S Coupe and Spider at the same time. And again, the Spider brings exactly the same structural rigidity as the Coupe, so exactly the same driving experience, giving people the choice of the two body styles. And the Spider provides that open air sports car feeling that a lot of people like. So fabulous that we can offer both to the market at the same time. Okay, well, you've all been waiting patiently. So ladies and gentlemen, I give to you the 650S Spider. Bruce and Clara couldn't rest on the wall if he tried. The engine is more powerful, 
we've moved for a long time at the vehicle before the majority is inside, part of that continues. And it's an absolute joy to drive. And I think that's the thing that really in many ways we're proud of. Ron and I both drove in the car. It's a huge pleasure to drive this car. Now before we finish off here, Ron, I must ask you about Formula One. Uh, it's certainly not looking predictable, but the good news is that McLaren seems to have had a strong start so far, and Kevin Magnussen, he's been a revelation, he's caught the timesheets on, on two days already. Uh -huh. What can we expect this year? Well, Kevin's done a great job, and he's got a great uh, mentor in Paul Spencer. Um, I think we're, we're very proud of how we mature young drivers, and of course in this, in this formula where we're limited on testing, it's quite a brave decision to bring a youngster into Formula One at this stage. We've got great success with her. They have huge uh, expectations for Kevin. From a car perspective, very, very challenging. Complex engine regulations, uh, extensive amounts of new technology, and plenty to go wrong. So I predict uh, a little bit of unreliability among some of the teams. Some of our competitors have uh, certainly got a few more headaches than we've got. Um, a very challenging uh, racing strategy, tyre and fuel conservation is going to be But I think it's exciting racing. People are a little bit patient, but I think the season's going to be great. Yeah, we're predicting a lot of unpredictability, basically. I'm looking forward to Melbourne, I know you will be too. Um, thank you very much to Mike and to Ron. Congratulations on yet another stunning car, McLaren 650S. And ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much to all of you for taking the time to come and see us here in Geneva. We'll see you next year.